All right, Metalheads, this is Angela Metal, and I'm here with Karitney. Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm pretty good. Yourself? Oh, not too bad for a, uh, a windy, cold day, but hey, <laughs> we're here to play rock, so I shouldn't complain about the weather. Great stuff. Uh, for those who are new to Karitney at home, who are you and what do you do in the band? Um, I'm Matt, and I play bass. Uh, Lex, sing. Eddie, I play one of the two guitars in the band. I'm Luke, and I play the other of those two guitars <laughs> in the band also. <laughs> and I'm Chris, and I play drums. Cool. Uh, how did the band form? Uh, the band formed uh, when one of the projects I was working on, Green Dollar Colour, broke up. And, um, ah, start! <laughs> and uh, we, we had a tour to complete for the Caritney's Green Dollar Colour, that tour was called. And uh, I called in, you know, some, some favours from lads around Sydney, and here we are, it's Caritney. Plus, um, old mate here from, from Paris. Um, your sound is, is like a mixture of ACDC, um, Aerosmith and Van Halen, uh, but also you have the Caritney sound. Who are your main influences as a band? Well, you, you seem to uh, actually mention some of, some of our influences. But uh, we also we also like to look back at uh, the old school stuff, you know, like the early blues and soul okay. type shit, like Aretha Franklin, Sam and Dave, Wilson Pickett, you know, Little Richard, of course. So you know, they're they're showboating and also like just uh, balls to the wall kind of blues ideas. I think really come through Caritney's music as well. Very cool. How are you guys over here? Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of the same influence I like, you know, I pretty much, I love anything bluesy and with a groove in it, and, um, but, you know, I like, I always got into heaps of hard rock, I listened to, when I was a little kid, I got into ACDC, and, and probably ACDC and Van Halen were the reasons I picked up a guitar in the first place, and, um, yeah, I just love all that shit and gunners and, go for it. yeah, all that kind of stuff, so, you know, that's, we've got a, we all like a lot of, um, different stuff too, like a bit of funk and, all that kind of shit and a, lot, and a lot of pop music so it's hopefully those influences okay. help to start the sound in two one dimensional cool Leo. um is this your first time in the uk uh in terms of gigging yeah it is i think we, we've all spent a bit of time here just holidaying and and doing whatnot trying to hunt out the best curries but yeah it's our first uh it's our first time playing gigs is this your first time in blackpool it's my first time in blackpool yeah it's not mine i've been here what do you think of it now uh, <laughs> I think it's very odd. He's a lot more sober. Very odd, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. The last time I was here, I was very drunk, but uh, and I noticed that a lot of the bars have that two for one deal. Yeah. In Australia, that the laws don't don't allow you to do that. So, but it's the cheapest way to drink here. So I was and I was by myself, so I was buying two beers at a time for myself. Okay. So I enjoyed Blackpool the first time, and I was a lot warmer. Because you're a lot more drunk. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Give it time, Luke. Give it time. Yeah, yeah. A couple of beers later. Mm. <laughs> uh, you supported, um, well, Hydrogen supported you in the France tour. How was that? That was really fun, you know, like, um, as all bands that you tour with, that everyone tends to be a little standoffish at first, but, uh, you know, once you, you see each other at a couple of gigs, you tend to sink a few drinks and things loosen up and you all get really fucking messy by the end of the tour, you know, and there's, yeah. there's tears and hugs and everyone waves goodbye, you know, but it was, uh, it was, it was really good fun, especially, uh, getting the, the, the two Jeffs, you know, like, <laughs> we had, we had Jeff 1 and Jeff 2, so... Was that, Jeff was, 1 and Jeff 2? Well, there was, well, the big guy was Jeff One, and the other big guy, he was Jeff Two. So, <laughs> well, that you know, helps. yeah. No, <laughs> but uh, well, it basically meant there was no forgetting of names, you know, because well, you know, hey Jeff, you get two answers. Like, well, that's cool. <laughs> but uh, no, that was that was that was great fun, you know, especially um, getting around France. There ain't too many uh, English speakers, so it was it was nice to have some Yank tanks with us. You know. <laughs> great stuff. Hey, you supported Scorpions last year. How was that? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, it was a good show. It was a very big show. Big stadium. It was our first stadium show, so, you know, the sound was huge. The crowd was awesome, and obviously the Scorpions are such a well known band and such a cool sound. Do you prefer bigger gigs to smaller gigs? Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> uh, We're all different, I think. I prefer bigger shows, but I think other guys sort of prefer, prefer, prefer more intimate sort of okay. shows. We can yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's well done. Um, you, I think you've got quite a big following in Europe. Uh, would you say that that's your market? 
Well, it's our market at the moment because uh, that's where our big following is, you know, and uh, kind of goes hand in hand. But uh, I mean, we're, we're always looking to get into to different markets. You know, like one of our focuses will be when we get back to Australia, we'll be um, hit, hitting up the Australian market because we actually haven't done too much work there, um, which is a bit bizarre considering we're Australian, but. Food's a bit rubbish there, so we'd like to come to Europe for the food, you know. And um, so, yeah, like we're gonna we're gonna look into smacking up Australia and, and taking our brand of music there. But we enjoy, we enjoy Europe, particularly France, because that's where our our kind of home base always is, and that's where our best following is. How about America? Because your sort of music is quite big in America. Yeah, well, you know, America's that's a, that's another market yet, you know. So it's one step at a time, fucking, which includes kind of one hurdle at a time. But we're gonna we're gonna try Australia, and then after that, we'll see where we go. You know. Okay, Obviously cool. Obviously, it would be great to go to the states. You know, it's the ultimate goal. It's the biggest market, um, and touring there, you have so many options. You're able to tour for so so long if if you have the means, but um, it's just not as easy, you yeah. know, to to do that as it is for us to come to France. You know, we have the means to do it here, uh, I mean, Europe. And uh, yeah, but I mean, definitely it would be a goal of ours. Okay. Uh, your uh, album is uh, Lady Luck. It's out now. It certainly is. Can you tell me about it? It's fucking awesome. <laughs> Go buy it. <laughs>